Welcome into the Mountain West Network Studios. Jesse Kurtz alongside former NFL general manager and current Mountain West football analyst Ted Sundquist here to break down week two of the football season in the Mountain West Mountain Division. Let's start with the first conference versus conference game of the season. Utah State traveling to Air Force. Air Force, of course, coming off a win over Colgate. Utah State losing the uh, game against interstate rival Utah. Air Force going to go with a new quarterback. Cale Pearson hurt, got a knee injury, done for the year. How do you see Julio Aweeney fitting in, and do things get different for Air Force or just the same? The great thing about Troy Calhoun's offense, Jesse, is it's plug and play. It's a system. It's not built around particular players like some of the other programs are in the Mountain West Conference. This is a young man who's a sophomore quarterback, six foot two, 210 pounds, kind of brings a different dynamic than Cale did. He's a bigger guy. He's going to take the pounding a little bit better. The biggest thing is his ability to step up as a leader. The school is built such that the underclassmen are told to follow the upperclassmen, but football kind of breaks that mold. He's got to step in and be that guy, and he did that with three straight scoring drives against Colgate. Utah State's quarterback Chucky Keaton, one of the most electric players in the country. In the opening game against Utah, 314 yards passing, also rushes for 85 yards against Utah. Utah State going to rely heavily on him. How does he factor into a game against Air Force, and how big is he in trying to get their first win of the year? Well, it's huge. You know, it was a disappointing loss for the Aggies, to be quite honest with you. They were able to get by the Utes last year for the first time in 12 seasons, and that vaulted them to an 11-2 record. Certainly, they were disappointed, but they played well enough to win that football game. Chucky Keaton is a dynamic guy, like you said, a dual threat, and it's going to put a lot of pressure on Air Force's defense to keep that Aggie offense off the field. I'd like to see Air Force slow their offense down a little bit. I know Troy likes an up-tempo style, yeah. but with the new quarterback in there, it might behoove him to have a few less plays than to try to get into that 75-80 range. Utah State's only lost four times in the last 20 games by a combined 10 points. All right, let's move on to Boise State. Entertaining UT Martin, 1 o'clock kickoff in the Mountain Time Zone. Of course, Boise State disappointed coming off their opening loss against Washington, the most lopsided loss in the Chris Peterson era. Offense didn't find the end zone. How do they get things going against UT Martin? Well, Joe Southwick threw the ball efficiently, but they just didn't really pick up any yardage. I think he averaged only 3.8 yards per pass play. And when you look at the Bronco offense last year, it was well over seven yards. So they've got to figure out a way to stretch that football field a little bit. Problem is also they lost DJ Harper at the running back position. They're not running the ball effectively. So they've got to mix in a more balanced approach. I think that'll open up the field down field for them. One of the pleasant surprises, I suppose, in the opening weekend, even though it came in a loss. How about Wyoming? They go into Nebraska. They scare the uh, Cornhuskers. Brett Smith, 383 yards passing, four touchdowns. What did this say, even though they lost, about the Cowboys in the opening uh, weekend? They're going to be a formidable force, especially in the Mountain Division. This is a team that built a lot of confidence off of that close loss. And again, you know, close is only good in horseshoes and hand grenades. I know the Cowboys are disappointed, but Brett Smith's name has to be mentioned in that group of quarterbacks that are coming out of the Mountain West Conference. He can beat you through the air. He can beat you on the ground. He's been in that Cowboy system now for a couple years. He is their face of the franchise, as I like to say, in the NFL, and a guy I think that they depend on for leadership. Cowboys hosting the Idaho Vandals kickoff at 2 o'clock Mountain Time from Laramie, Wyoming. All right, Colorado State took on the University of Colorado in Denver. A disappointing loss for the Rams, especially defensively. They gave up over 500 uh, total yards, 400, 400 of which is through the air. The secondary a big concern as they go on to take Tulsa this week? Yeah, the biggest thing that can help a secondary, though, is your defensive front getting some pressure on the quarterback. And certainly the Rams were only able to get to the CU quarterback Woods once. Mm -hmm. One sack, Shaquille Barrett had that. But there's enough athleticism, quickness, and movement up front. They had six and a half tackles for losses. So against the run game, they were able to create some penetration. But when it came to the drop back pass game, for whatever reason, they weren't able to beat those bigger CU offensive linemen. They've got to figure out a way to get pressure on the quarterback. Rams do travel to Tulsa, 5 o'clock kickoff Mountain Time. Finally, New Mexico traveling to UTEP, 6 o'clock uh, kickoff in the Mountain Time Zone. New Mexico 0-1-1 coming off a 21-13 loss to UT San Antonio. Lobos raced out to a 13-0 lead. 
but then gave up 21 unanswered points. Bob Davey wants to establish an identity defensively. He's got that in place offensively. What do they have to do to establish that defense and then not prevent 21 unanswered points? Well, they got to get help from their offense. I mean, Couchy was their leading ru uh, rusher, and Casey Carrier only uh, had 73 yards on 20 carries. That made their third down conversions really low. I mean, New Mexico's got to figure out a way to keep the sticks moving, keep that good defense off the field, okay, and, and keep the drives going. They had a number of drives stall out. I think their longest drive was only nine plays throughout the entire game. That's not going to get it cut in this conference with these explosive quarterbacks that we've been talking about. We'll see how things shake out of the Mountain Division. Things kick off on Saturday. For Ted Sunquist. I'm Jesse Kurtz for the Mountain West Network.